What up? It's your boy NWP and we're back at it once again with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at solutions to the content drought that we've been seeing for a little while now. Obviously people are going to argue that we did have an event that went by but we still really haven't had anything new added to the game. We had the holiday bash with the you know winter express but we never really got something new which was promised at the beginning of the season with new ltms supposedly in store for season 11. but first guys if you enjoy the channel then how about taking the time right now to like this video and if you're new smash down that subscribe button with the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that i drop a new video but let's get into this one. Obviously, one of the best solutions would be an increase to the level cap. And we actually have information from the developers that suggests a level cap could be coming in the near future. Now, obviously, the level cap would be one of the easiest ways to add something to do in the game. And with a direct quote that we will be seeing a level cap as soon as things are ready and functioning properly alongside also some new systems for progression as well we definitely have a lot to talk about and obviously one of the easiest ideas out there in fps gaming is clearly going and putting in a prestige system or if you want to call it regeneration like titanfall then that's what we'll go with but in essence it is in fact the exact same thing you're gonna give up something to gain a new level path or in probably the case of apex legends you won't really give up anything but you'll have to meet some requirements to unlock that next path and that's fine with me because the requirement is going to be like be level 500 and then you know maybe actually 510 but you're still only 500 you know just similar to how in call of duty once you hit maximum level you now have to hit that one more little big level to unlock the prestige so i could see something very similar to that being added to the game and then unlocking a new unique modifier like the prestige shop in the game and that would be very very interesting because it would also go along with some of the really interesting information we have regarding mythic skins or reactive tier skins for legends as well as the idea that's been being cooked around for some time now when we talk about heirloom recolors which honestly i think a lot of people would be interested in even people that don't have heirlooms yet would probably not argue against the idea of recolors and kind of a little bit of custom flavor and flair to any given person that has one so big money making ideas right there as well as adding in huge ways to get people doing things in game that actually seem to mean something to them because after a while if the battle pass is done at your level 500 you've explored the new map you're done playing ranked or you don't enjoy ranked you don't got much to do and considering the way the game is right now it is a little bit stale it is a little bit stagnant there's so much more out in the world for people to enjoy and play they need to do something that's going to benefit the community give us something to enjoy and something to work for in the game so i do think that we'll be seeing that level cap relatively soon obviously right now there's only like a month give or take a week left in the season so we probably won't be seeing any big updates coming in this particular season but with season 12, we definitely have a lot to, of potential for new things to be added. And clearly, we still maybe have one more event here in season 11 where a patch could come in, obviously, with some new bro Sidon skins and stuff like that going on for Fuse. But we clearly do have at least a little bit of, you know argument to say that there's not going to be any major changes in this season particularly so i would say moving forward we're probably going to be seeing some level changes in season 12 we're probably going to be seeing a lot more emphasis on things to do and activities in game like alongside ltms as well as just challenges that could be added in in game each week i think there's a lot that they're just not doing that they could be doing Considering the amount of legendary skins that nobody's actually purchasing with money and, you know, you're actually just getting from, you know, opening packs that you randomly get and stuff like that. 
you could actually argue that they could start making it you know challenges to unlock skins that already exist in the game and that's content for people to you know actually to partake in and that kind of thing really needs to be looked at over the next few seasons and i personally think that would add a lot to the game in terms of what people can and can't do because the more paywall stuff you actually add the less people are interested in playing the game but the more things you add into the game that allow people to play it and earn things, the more interested people actually will become in the game. So I really hope to see some changes like that added in the near future, but it all remains to be seen. And it definitely is something that's going to be up to the developers to implement at their own pace or maybe even at the rate that we would like to see it. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Drop a comment down below. Are you interested in prestige, a prestige shop, or even an increased level cap coming to Apex Legends? Is that what you think would make the game a little bit better in terms of just stuff to do? Obviously, people, we know that the game has bugs. We know that there's problems that need to be fixed. But we're talking about the content drought. So what do you guys think would solve the content drought and make the game more enjoyable on the average you know, consumer that plays, say, 8 to 15 hours every week? Do you think the uh, new LTMs would add more players or do you think it would hurt the game? And obviously, guys, if you'd like to continue this conversation, head on over to the social media links. Give them a like, a favor, a follow, whatever you haven't done already. It will be greatly appreciated and go a long way to helping the channel in 2022. Obviously, we've got a long way to go to get back to some of those big time views that we were pulling a while ago. But hey, everything in stride. And I still got the best community in Apex Legends overall. So I can't complain very much myself. And uh, yeah, obviously, I'm kind of hyped for what could be in the future in terms of like looking for something to actually do and grind. I do feel really let down this season with the battle pass because I don't even really care about that Prowler reactive skin, to be honest with you. I, they could have done better. I want reactive skins that are on the level with like the first four or five seasons of reactive skins every season. Like they need to be awesome. I want to see things that more represent that golden havoc from season one that we saw you know like the real exciting type stuff like that but in terms of what i can expect from the devs is really kind of on the fence you know in some cases they're on point and in other cases they're just like doing their own thing and off in their own world so it all remains to be seen for the future but we're going to end the video here, guys, by putting another one up on the screen you can check out if you feel so inclined. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And it's almost New Year's Eve and a whole new year. Hopefully, you've got great plans and a whole new amount of success for the new year. But remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, have a good one.